Hello Capricorn, this is your reading for March 2019. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for my Capricorn for March 2019. So if you guys are interested in a personal, I do personal readings. Um, you can either visit the website, pinkarygym.com, or you can email me, all right? Let's see, and I'll send you that information. What's going on with Capricorn for March 2019? What's going on around you? Oh, okay. Who <laughs> was challenging you? That flipped over. <clears throat> we'll leave it like that. The underlying issue here. The recent past best possible outcome was coming in how you're seeing the situation your outside influence your hopes your fears and the overall right there what's going on around you guys now is the knight of pentacles you have taurus energy um here okay it's a very slow moving night this knight really does not like to make mistakes so they really kind of you know study things you know calculate their next move really kind of weigh their options out okay so that's really what's going on around you now either this is you or someone else i'm thinking there's something here relating to um the past that's kind of like pulling you guys back in um energetically pulling you back in something you you kind of keep thinking about is what i'm feeling wanting to move forward but there's still something lingering from the past that that i feel um you want to address or that needs addressing here okay what's challenging you is the hierophant i feel like this is all about um learning for you studying and learning maybe more about yourselves than any other person or thing knowing what it is that you know you want to do what makes you happy what's right for you and standing by that okay and basically i feel like this is all about you not rethinking yourself okay not being your own worst enemy knowing what you want knowing what you deserve and going for that and not looking back or not rethinking things okay so the underlying issue here is the three of cups this is all about happiness okay this may be reconnecting also with someone on an emotional level if this is not reconnecting with someone this is all about you guys growing emotionally being happy going out with friends socializing that sort of thing okay now how you see this situation is a chariot you feel like you are moving on successfully but yet again there is a challenge here for you guys to know exactly what you want and don't waver from it okay so you do see yourself going towards the things that you know you want you deserve and this is very cancer energy um so it may be a cancer individual that that you guys are thinking about or that is significant to you because you are moving on successfully but here again i still see you kind of looking back at something in the past that is kind of like not haunting you but it's like riding your coattails it's always there okay so in the recent past we have the strength looking back at the past again here okay and this is kind of holding yourself back from something from doing something here okay i'm thinking that maybe you guys um have been restraining yourselves from someone or something keeping yourself and it's been a struggle for you and i can see that because the chariot is looking back at the past <clears throat> 
the Knight of Pentacles, the horse is facing the past. It's looking forward, but it's steady, you know, going back to the past. That is, re, you know, indicative of past issues still being so very present in your situation. But the Hierophant is facing forward as your challenge. Okay, that is your challenge here to go forward, turn around and go forward and not really get caught up in what has happened in the past, letting it go, letting it be. Okay, whatever that means for you guys. So the best possible outcome here is a King of Pentacles, yet still this King of Pentacles is looking forward. But at the same time, you know, his his body is facing towards the past. This is you standing in your power and doing, hold on one second. I hope my camera didn't stop because I got a message on that screen. But anyway, um, this is you standing in your power, um, you know, doing the things that are right for you. Okay. Being confident in that. Whatever it is that you choose to do, being confident in your choices, in your decision, okay? I feel like this is like all about you knowing, you know, wholeheartedly that what you're doing is right for you. I'm feeling this has nothing to do with anyone else right now, currently. Maybe it had something to do with actually reconnecting with someone, or maybe that's still very present in your mind is whether or not, you know, you not reconnecting with someone um, is, is a good or bad thing, you know, however you're viewing that. But it, whatever that is, is still, you know, very much present in your mind is what I'm getting. So what's coming in for you is a three of wands. This is you waiting on what you deserve, looking looking for those things that that benefit you. Okay, expecting things that would benefit you. This is like that magician energy for me. Okay, putting something out there and then waiting for what you deserve because you know you've done everything that you could possibly do or you are doing everything that you can possibly do to bring in that abundance, you know, those good things into your life, turning your back on the past, realizing that, you know what, that's done. I can't help that. I can't continuously think about that and moving forward, moving on, turning your back on a past situation. Okay, now <clears throat> your outside influence here is a Ten of Cups. I feel this. I feel this is what you guys are aiming towards. Okay, now this is either you um, be being fulfilled, you know, on an ultimate level by yourself, just within yourself, or this is you guys waiting on that relationship or looking for that relationship that you want that brings you the ultimate fulfillment. You guys can be happy. Um, you can have this reciprocal love, this reciprocal respect in a relationship. And I'm feeling like there is someone here that possibly wants the same thing with you. I don't get that there's any communication here though. I don't see any swords here. All I see is water and earth and fire. I don't see and the wands here is just the three of wands. It's you waiting. So I don't really see any action being taken either. Okay. But I definitely get this probably um, maybe an Aries, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus individual that's significant to you guys. That I feel like wants, wants the same things that you want. But I don't get that either one of you is making a move in that direction is a thing. Okay. So your hopes here is a star. And I, I felt this. This is finding your path. This is knowing where you're going and keeping your eye on the prize, keeping your eye on the ball. What is it that I'm supposed to be doing? Who am I supposed to be with? Your hope is that you will go there, that you will automatically, instinctually, intuitively um, be led there guided there that you're going in the right direction 
you're doing the right things. And I think that's where you're kind of like, you're pivoting around towards the past and thinking, okay, you're going towards the future, but you're kind of like still pivoting towards the past thinking, well, did I do the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Should I do this? You know, don't rethink yourself. Don't rethink yourself. If you feel like in your heart that you were doing the right thing, if you have done the right thing, if you are doing the work, then that's what you're supposed to be doing. Don't rethink it and don't overthink it, okay? That is that is my advice for you, okay? And I know you didn't ask for it, but but I get I get this push pull sort of thing coming from you guys here. It's like you're rethinking yourself, but I see good very good energy here. Very good energy here. So I'm thinking that, you know, in restraining yourself here in the past, that that probably was what you needed to do. Okay? Definitely. Your fear here is the Queen of Swords that you will not know what your path is. That you will not know. That you will not know for sure if you're doing the right thing. Because I'm thinking you guys want to know, like for sure 100% that you're doing the right thing but this is something that you will feel you will feel it okay the overall outcome here is a knight of cups this is definitely going towards things that you feel like you deserve that you want that you're interested in and not letting anything stop you not not allowing anything to get in your way okay so very very good reading very good reading Capricorns because I see you guys you know striving towards something here but there's just a little this there's this little voice that keeps telling you or keeps making you feel like maybe there's something different that you should be doing which I don't think so okay so we have um, Scorpio energy here Aquarius is here um, Pisces Aries Cancer Taurus, Leo um, energy is here as well. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.